the UTG MK96 bolt action sniper rifle available at evike.com for $130. UTG based this rifle off the iconic L96 Arctic Warfare. The L96 was produced by Accuracy International. The primitive version was designed for the British in the 80s, but the design we all know and love was designed for the Swedish in the 90s. The L96 was designed to work in the harshest conditions. It is designed to operate into temperatures of those negative 40 degrees Celsius. Everything is designed for the cold, including the bolt and even the trigger guard. Traditionally, the L96 chambers a, a 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO round, but can be fitted for many different types of ammunition. In the box, you get an instruction manual, two 30 round magazines, a speed loader, a sling, an unjamming rod, Allen wrenches, and if you get the $50 upgrade, you get a 3x9 scope and a bipod. Now on the gun itself, we have a fully adjustable buttstock. Your swing attachment points, which are on both sides. We have your adjustable cheek crest, your thumb hole, your safety, your trigger, your bolt, the full metal barrel, you have your mag well with the mag release and hop up adjustment. Hop adjustment is inside there, I'll show you that later. Then we have our front sling attachment points, once again on both sides. You have your removable rail system for bipods and attachments, and then you have your orange tip which you can unscrew to attach a suppressor. Alright, to adjust the butt, the butt stock, you're going to take the provided element, put it in the two holes, and unscrew, and unscrew this top one, put it in there tight. Once you have them completed unscrewing the screws, you just lift this part on. And here's a plate you can remove. You can remove. Oh, shit. Remove the one plate. Put that back on. Then put your plate back, your, the pot, and screw it back in. Now, to adjust the cheek, the cheek rest the same concept. You're just going to screw this. Both of these. You don't have to take them all the way out. And it goes up and down, and you can take it off, say, if your mask was too big to see out, so out to, through the scope. And you can just line it back up at the desired level. Now the hop-up on this gun is very hard to get at. If you can see, it says hop and normal, and inside there, there's a little screw. Now to adjust it, you have to put this supply to Allen wrench in there and attach to find a little screw. It could take you a while your first couple times like but then once you get it in you put it in and you just adjust left and right to get the hat. It it will definitely take you a while to find it, especially in poor lighting, so I recommend doing this outside. Obviously if you're adjusting your hat you do it outside. But you it's really hard to find it and you need very good sunlight. See I just found it here. It really helps if you push up against it, you can just turn left or right. The gun comes with two 30 round magazines. Now, to loading these magazines is tricky. The supplied speed loader would have it has a tip at the end of this. However, during a match I lost my tip. It attaches onto these little points here and just easily falls off. So if you get this gun, I recommend you tape it on. With that, you would just put it on the side and put it. But now that now if you lost your tip like me, I found that if you put both fingers next to it and put your speed loader down, you can do this. To load the magazine. This assembly is also very easy since it is shipped to you in two parts. All you have to do is go and 
to this top one, you can use the pliet allen wrench into the hole, find the screw, and unscrew it. Then you do the same back here, right in there, put your allen wrench in, get in, and then unscrew top and pull it apart and it'll come right apart so that's easy for disassembly and cleaning of your oven. Right off the top, I do feel like this bolt's great if you can back. But however, before you shoot, I would recommend taking a can of silicone and spraying here and in here to make it on both sides to make it a lot easier to pull back and forth. Now if you wish to get into further lubing, you can take this right here inside, you have to push this and push that up, and your bolt will slide right out so you can move and clean it easily. Now here's a test fire of the, U the UTGL96, do the crank from here, all the way down there. I will set up a second camera so you can see the shots. I'll be shooting five shots and we will see where they are. As you can see, it's a, as you can see, it's a very accurate. We had three shots here in the black, and we had one here and one off into the center, which is uh, pretty accurate for just a hundred and thirty dollar gun. The UTG MK96 sniper rifle, like many other rifles, does have its drawbacks. The front rail system does wobble a little, and the supplied bipod for the fifty dollar upgrade will fall off, not tighten up tightened regularly. The sling itself that's applied to the gun does break, it happened to me, but the sling the sling points on the gun itself are very durable. The hop-off unit is hard hard to access and it's hard to adjust, which is uh, it's a major drawback, especially when you're trying to make adjustments in the field. The top rail here will also become loose, but you can tighten that with your Allen wrench. Also, when you reach out to greater distances, the bullet will start to curve left. I am using point threes, and this still happens. I've ch I've tried adjusting the hop up and the, the scope, but it just it's just a part of the gun, the spin in the gun. But uh, overall, with its high FPS, its great accuracy and low price point, it is a perfect rifle for any airsoft sniper.